Alright, so it looks like just a tiny little drop of gas. I didn't put too much in there last night. This is exciting for me because I actually get to get out of the house, which I know that sounds weird, but I don't get out of the house too much here in the winter time. So today's a small little trip to pick up my snowblower, which hopefully I'm gonna figure out if it's working or not. Bet you haven't seen one of these in a while. This is the essential, uh, essential travel gear here for my 1999 because you know it has has the latest in technology. I, I know you can see that. Okay, so here's the story with this little snowblower. Years and years ago, my father-in-law gave this snowblower to me, and although it might be old, it's worked well for however long I've been using it now, which has been quite a few years, and he's had it for years and years before that. Last year, though, I noticed it was starting to leak some gas, and so I was planning this year to actually remedy that before it got to the winter season, but then winter never really arrived here until now, and so I kind of forgot about it, and then I kind of just let it go and thought, oh, I'll just shovel and do all that, but it's just sitting in a shed at one of my family members. It's a decent drive to get over there, so I gotta go pick it up today, and that's kind of what I'm up to, and then I'll find out what the prognosis is on whether I'm going to tear it apart or hopefully it's going to work for me still yet this season. It was warm outside when we hoped for snow the sooner I leave the sooner I'm home and you can stay up all night and count it down with me this one's gonna take more than three I was ready to run from your dad But he loves you so much And there was my chance And these lines on the road Against my will let me know That I can't get caught So of course, anytime you need to use something, you don't have it, so I need to go get some gas. Then I wanna test the machine just to make sure that it actually starts, and then let it sit for a while and see if I can figure out where it's leaking from, tear that apart if I have to, or we'll see what happens. So it started right up on the first pole, and that's a very good sign. Now I need to just let it sit here in the garage just for a little while and see how much it's gonna leak. All right, so it looks like just a tiny little drop of gas. I didn't put too much in there last night. That side over there is where the carb is. There's actually a little spot under here where you can kind of reach the carb. So I have a feeling that it's probably a gasket or something on that carb. And just for this storm and for right now, I'm just gonna put a small amount of gas in it and at least try to use it for this first time. And then if it's not one below outside every day, like it's going to be coming up, I might be able to actually work on it. But for now, that's my plan. So I wanted to see if I could figure out what year this actually is. So I got the model number, I put that in here on this website, and I also have the serial number. It looks like, uh, according to the serial number, this would have been from 1997. So over 20 years old now. It's almost midnight here, and uh, currently, if you see that right there, it says, feels like 12 below outside. So many of you out in the north know exactly what this feels like, but I was just outside of my deck a little while ago and I thought it might be interesting for you southerners to hear what that temperature sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt. Western border of the state. Notice the clock, 10 o'clock. This is snowfall. And where you see the darker colors is where we'll see bands of heavier snowfall. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, they keep changing our weather forecast here for the upcoming winter storm. So whatever happens, I hope that I can actually use that snowblower. That's really my main goal. So all I care about is that we have enough snow that I can actually go outside and use that thing. Now we're talking here. So it's only been snowing for about maybe an hour and it's already coming down like crazy. And so I remembered that I don't have any weight in the back of my truck right now. Not that I really need to go anywhere, but in case that I do, I have these sandbags right here. So I'm gonna put those in the back. Get ready for it. 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 This is yeah, this Well, that is what I've been looking forward to all season, actually getting out and able to use a snowblower. So that was a lot of fun. That little snowblower is actually quite a beast for its size as well. I'm kind of surprised by the power, but it's a five horse, two stroke, so it works really well. For now, at least I got my driveway cleared. We actually have a good amount of snow out here right now, and that happened in about five hours, so it came down pretty heavy today. In a world where we all want the latest and greatest, sometimes it's okay to use what you have. Although it may not be perfect, it'll get the job done in the end. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, cause every time I think that I have learned all that I 